Clown Productions 360. So today we are going to be talking about the perks of middle school. So it's most likely going to be a bunch of elementary kids watching this elementary school, maybe high schoolers, see what it was like. Who knows? I've been in middle school for three years. Tomorrow is the very last day of what's it called? Um, school. There is so much crap I have went through in middle school. So much stuff. It's not even funny. So. Let's just dive right into this. No line. I'm not stealing that line. That is from the Philip DeFranco show. Yeah, but let's just start right now. Alright, so perk number one. First off, there's no lines. There is one line in the school I go to. That is when you go to lunch. Everywhere else is go out of your classrooms, do whatever the heck you want. You have locker breaks, like for um, elementary school. You only, I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure you just took the crap out of your book bag. Or no, you had death, you had one homeroom, your morning class, whatever you called it, and you would have all your stuff in your desk, or you had a, um, a chair pouch where you'd shove, shove everything in the back. Well, you took everything out of there when you switched classes, you'd go to grab certain stuff, or maybe you just had it all together, and you circulated around the um, pod you'd have. Maybe what, like four classes, something like that, and you'd have a little back area. Blah, blah, blah. There's no lines, except for one. So that's perk number one. All right, perk number two. I'm going to have to say it would be lunch, lunch in general. First off, you have a salad bar with all the sauces and ranch dressings, everything you can think of. You even have your own little butter packets. I think they may have had that at the elementary school. I'm not quite sure. I don't know about high school because I haven't been there yet. Just like I said, it's only, I've been in middle school for three years. Um, you have... Ketchup pumps just like elementary school, but we also have a hot sauce pump in ours. And then you have a napkin rackets. And then the lunch people are less strict. You have to you don't have to raise your hand for everything. If you need to go get a napkin, you stand up and go get it. Now sometimes if you do a little excessively, you just go up whenever you want, they'll start getting a little irritated and tell you to raise your hand, but it's like, really? Who cares? You're getting a napkin. For elementary school people, just keep doing what you're doing. Don't get yourself in trouble. Middle school I'm going to get in trouble as much as I can because after middle school, I'm pretty sure your record gets wiped clean like all the lunch tensions and suspensions you've ever had. Well, perk number three. So I'm going to say perk number three would easily be you have locker breaks. You have lockers. Locker, lockers in general. You have so much time. You have like four to five minutes at your locker area. It's like, dude, stop. Alright. You have like four to five minutes at your locker area it's so awesome you get to do this you get to do that you can go to the bathroom you don't have bathroom breaks where everyone goes out of the classroom at the same time and goes and does blah 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 blah. whatever you go out i'm pretty sure you get in the lunch lines then you go out and um you know, like go to lunch and then you have to line up when everyone's done and water fountains i'm going to put that in the same category you don't have to do one two three that's enough for me you go and get a water fountain drink however long you want. No one's going to get mad. They also have, I don't think that, yeah, that, never mind. They have that at elementary school. Um, yeah, that's going to be perk number three, lockers. You have a big locker, the bathrooms. You get to have dr water fountain. All that crap is awesome. It's like, I get to do all this. Perk number four. So I'm going to have to go with perk number four. It would easily be the um gym or special area, whatever you want to call it. So in gym, you have it every single day, unless you choose to do band or orchestra or chorus. But I don't do any of that. I did in sixth grade, but I quit because I hated it. So gym is going to easily be the fourth perk. You have an hour of gym every single day instead of once a week, which I think is just straight up stupid. Why would you want it once a week? It'd be like, give me every day. You could do volleyball almost every day. Every time everyone's inside, it's pretty much volleyball, 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 volleyball. It's all you do, it feels like. And it's so fun. It's, it's awesome. And then you also, it's you do capture a flag almost every day. It's crazy how much stuff you do. It's like, holy cow. I get to do this during gym. I get it every day. And you also get gym uniforms. I don't call that a perk. The only reason that would be a perk is if you have maybe jeans on and you want to switch into shorts. But it's gym uniform whatever and also you don't have to get your school clothes dirty you have your gym uniform to get dirty and you take that home like every week and wash it out and also at gym you have lockers you have your own locker for gym like really you can't just bring everything home nope you get lockers i like that that's a big perk 
yeah, you get like, there's hooks in there, not a perk, I, yeah, I guess it's a perk, whatever, but, um, it's pretty cool, because you get your own area to change, not, this isn't a perk, it doesn't really matter, you change in front of everyone, but you're in your underwear, big deal, some elementary school people watch right now, you may not like that, but you get used to it real quick, um, yeah, gym is just awesome, you have your own lockers, you have your gym uniform, you have every single day for an hour, sometimes 45 minutes if you get unlucky, and then usually all the concerts and everything, they're planned during gym time or your special area, so that'll kind of suck, but gym is just an awesome perk, because you have every day and all that stuff. Well, for perk number five, I'm going to say it's BYOT. Some elementary schools, elementary schools do do BYOT, bring your own device, BYOT. Technology. Technology, yeah. Bring your own technology. Um, you get to listen to music. Usually, when your teach, if your teachers are lenient, you could listen to music and stuff. Um, you get to do this. You get to do that. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, but um. It's BYT. You get to have your device. You do Kahoot a lot. You may do that in elementary school. But in middle school, it's used a lot more. Socrative. You can check Edline in school. You can have your phones out texting sometimes. If your teacher's a little more lenient. If they're strict, you're not in good luck getting your, um, what is it called? Getting your devices being usable and stuff. Yeah, so that's a perk overall. Another perk. Sorry, guys. Um, This is another day. Um, I forgot to do perk number six, I kind of skipped over it. Perk number six is easily going to be, um, there's after, after school clubs. You have all this cool after school stuff. You do archery, ping pong, intramurals, maybe for some middle schools, but also you can make your own clubs up. Or you can hang posters on the walls, like it's free speech. It's kind of like its own country. That's a really cool thing right there, I'd say. It has a lot of, my school has a lot of clubs. There's volleyball, um, ping pong, table tennis, they call it. There's run club. It's a lot of, there's a lot. It's pretty cool. But, yeah, after school, and murals is another one. Number seven. So here's perk number seven. You're going to become, to, you're going to learn to become a lot more sneaky. Teachers are going to be, oh, sorry, a little more, like, Hawk guy, they're going to be looking for this and that. Well, you're going to learn to become a lot more sneakier. In sixth grade, we would take a bunch of rubber bands. We'd chop up little erasers. We'd stick them in the rubber band. We'd hold them like this, pull back, and fire. It would sting so much. Well, that definitely got me to learn to be sneaky because I would do it in the open. Like that. And he'd be like, Jackson. Blah, 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 blah. But there's also a lot of snitches. That's the... I'll talk about that in perk, and not perk, that was not, that would not be a perk. You're going, I'll do another video, cons of being a middle schooler. Yeah, so, um, but there's going to be, you're going to learn to become a lot more sneakier. Like, you're going to learn, instead of just having your earbuds in, listen to music out in the open. You're going to run them up your, like, if you have long sleeves on, you're going to run them all the way up your sleeve, and then up here, so you can only see from here to here of your earbud, and put it up to your ear like this, so you're listening. It's it's really smart. I've done it once or twice. Not worth it to me because it's like you gotta take it out every couple seconds and you gotta hide it like this when you're done. And it falls on your sleeve, so there's a lot of stuff that. Or you can just bring it up and tape it right here so it doesn't fall down. It doesn't fall down your sleeve, but it doesn't matter. But you're just gonna learn to become a lot more sneakier. You should know what I mean by that. Perk number eight. There's going to be a. Lot more fights. You're gonna see this and that, and this and that. Lot more fights. You're gonna see this here. You're gonna see that. You're gonna be running out of your classroom just to catch a fight. It's so. I've been in one or two. It was me against an eighth grader when I was in sixth grade. That guy was so scrawny. He wasn't even funny. His arms weren't as thick as this pencil. He lost. It was like, how'd you lose? The first I'll tell you a story. First day. It, all, it was all happening. He was here. He was there. I was scared. Joking. He came to the locker area. He was picking on girls. So that was the first day. The second day, I was dumb. I stuck my arms against the lockers, and he picked me up and moved the other way. Wow, Jackson, smart. You didn't think an eighth grader could pick you up? So then the next day, he was like, oh, you again? I was like, hi. 
I did the same thing, but this time I kind of like planted myself to the ground. So we went around the other side. I walked around the other side, and he walked back down to the other side. I walked to the other side to guard him off. Well, I bring Eli, my friend, over, and then he just shoved him out of the way. He like went flying, but he ended up falling on the ground. He got super pissed. So then he like <gasps> like a little gorilla, and then he started charging me. So I got up in his stance like this, getting ready to get hit. He hit me. It didn't push me back that much. But we started wrestling at that point, and then the teacher caught us. There was no punching, so none of us got suspended. He got in more trouble, though, because I had talked to our principal. I said I was just defending people at our locker area. He was like, very heroic. Yeah, but, um, that is pretty cute. Yeah, you're going to see a lot more fights. You're going to maybe get in some. And there's something called slap boxing where you literally just go back and forth slapping each other's crazy. It's usually in the bathrooms. But you can get in the fun fights with them. There's for fun. My fun friend gets in them like all the freaking time. It's crazy. But yeah, fights. You're going to have a lot. Perk number nine. You're going to have a lot of friends that are dumb. So dumb. They're going to be throwing crap, doing this. <laughs> Playing catch with a fidget spinner, they're going to be shooting over bands all over the place. They're going to be doing so much stuff. They're going to be taking pencils, breaking them for no reason. I'm not going to break this because it's one of my little pencils. Yeah, but you're going to get a lot of dumb friends who do that kind of stuff. You're going to crack up. It's going to be awesome. Perk number 10, you're going to get girlfriends. There's going to be girls all over the place. Maybe in middle school you don't think... Girls are all that. They have cuties. No, they're, you're going to get into girls, and they're going to be pretty cool. Have girlfriend, all that stuff. When you people kiss on the TV shows, you're like, ew. Well, it's not ew. You're going to like it when you get older. So that's all I can think of for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. You're being shook. Yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, You're going to get a lot. You're going to like middle school. There's no recess, but who cares? So... I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe for more of this content. I'm going, next couple videos, I'm going to do something with my, um, make from a jellyfish. It's not a jellyfish, but it was supposed to be one. I'm autistic. That's why I did this. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe, comment for more of this stuff. Jalen Productions 360, out. I got to hit you guys. Let's make a gun. Doesn't work. Bye.